let's make like Roy Moore now and turn our attention to high school kids. <laughs> Ever since the shooting in Parkland, Florida, young people have been leading the charge for sensible gun reform. And today, on the one month anniversary of that shooting, they kicked things up a notch with a nationwide school walkout. That's right. For once, the students evacuated on their own terms. Tonight, nationwide protests. A sea of students from Parkland to Columbine marching out of their schools, demanding action to combat gun violence. More than 185,000 students walking out of classrooms today. Washington, New York, Parkland, Florida, St. Paul, Minnesota, St. Louis, Denver, Chicago. At the Capitol, thousands of shoes make up a memorial to children killed by gun violence. <laughs> As a 12-year-old, do you really think that you have the power to make change? By myself, I don't think I have the power, but together with all these people here, I think we can make a change. My man. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Somebody put his multiplication to good use, yeah. We can't let politics divide us, carry the three. I love this. <laughs> It's interesting how people keep asking these kids if they're not too young to protest. You do realize some of the biggest political movements were led by young people, right? Kids fought for civil rights. Kids fought against apartheid in South Africa and to stop the Vietnam War. And never forget, never forget the inspiring young woman who used a can of soda to end racism forever. Don't ever forget that. <laughs> and today was a perfect example of how a youth movement can turn into an everyone movement. Because this morning's protests brought in major politicians like Nancy Pelosi, uh, crying Chuck Schumer, no nickname Andrew Cuomo, and they even got the most popular millennial of all, Bernie! <laughs> Do you know how loud you have to be to drown out Bernie Sanders? <laughs> using a megaphone. <laughs> Bernie is so naturally loud, he normally uses the megaphone backwards so he can have an indoor voice. <laughs> Shh, the baby's sleeping, keep it down. <laughs> now, although these kids are fighting for a cause that seems logical to most, there are still some who don't agree with the idea of them marching in the streets. The demonstrations are prompting heated debates. Some schools allowing students to walk out. Others, like this one in New Jersey, threatening suspensions if anyone ditches class. I would rather my kids be in school safe, and I don't believe this demonstration is really gonna change anything. Wait, you don't want kids outside because it's not safe? The schools are not safe. That's literally why they're marching. Yeah, you were like, go back to the schools. That's, that's where the people got shot. This woman is like the person in a slasher movie who's like, the best thing for us to do is stay inside the house, okay? <laughs> Let's go to the basement. It's dark there. The killer won't see us, okay, guys? <laughs> and the reason these kids think it's so important to march, especially today, is because although the House passed a school safety bill, it completely left out any provisions relating to guns, right? Which seems like the one thing you shouldn't leave out of a school safety bill. It's like a pizza delivery guy saying, here's your pizza, we just uh, didn't include the crust. Enjoy. <laughs> In fact, there are many politicians, including the president, who still think the best solution to this problem is giving teachers guns. Yeah, and upon hearing this idea, the god of irony responded with this. As debate rages on nationwide about arming teachers in the U.S., a gun was accidentally fired by a teacher inside a Seaside High School classroom. Was teaching a criminal justice sort of safety awareness class and accidentally discharged his firearm into the ceiling. Though the gun didn't shoot anyone directly, one student was hurt. And fragments from the bullet struck a student in the neck. Fortunately, there were no serious injuries. Sweet Jesus. A teacher almost shot a kid. And by the way, he isn't just a teacher. He's a reserve police officer. Yeah, the kind of trained professional who's supposed to know what he's doing. And I, I gotta say, that teacher better quit because he's gonna have a hard time scolding his students after this. <laughs> like, imagine you're a kid in his class and now the teacher tries to yell at you for talking to a friend. I'll be like, bitch, you shot Freddy. <laughs> but still, a bullet, a bullet fragment hit a child. Yeah, and the worst part, is that this whole thing could have been avoided if we just gave that kid's neck a gun.